Here we have two adult red, uh, California red-legged frogs, both under the water. This is uh, their usual defense strategy is to dive down and hunker down. This is why they usually hang out around uh, the deepest pools that they have available to them. Um, but in the midst of this drought, it's not very deep. Here's a little recent metamorph, Foothill Yellow-Legged Frog in Santa Clara County. These guys are sharing the same stream with uh, the California Red-Legged Frogs, which is really cool to see both of our native uh, ranids in one little area. They have the same defensive strategy as you can see. So here we have another Foothill Yellow-Legged Frog. Let's go over here. We have an adult western toad. This stream is just packed with the neurons. Super cool. Here's a nice adult foothill yellow legged frog. These guys don't get quite as big as the red legged frogs. But this one's a good uh, maybe almost four inches not to vent length. Alright, so friend Lance here just spotted this cool little baby Diablo range garter snake. This definitely looks like a young of year. He's really tiny. He's got a big meal on him, probably um, a little fish from the water here. That guy's gonna zip down back to the water. There he goes. So cool to see him swim. We'll get some more fish. Nice. Here's a nice little juvenile southern alligator lizard found under, under this little plank. A little bit of red coloration on the back, but this is a, a pretty gray one. You can see he already has a little bit of a regenerated tail from perhaps a predation event, but it's growing back just fine. It's a really nice, fresh looking western fence lizard. Really pretty. Beautiful adult. Interestingly, hiding under this piece of cover um, and on a hot day. <laughs> Usually these guys are out basking or being active. wonder what it was doing under here. It's a pretty lizard though. Here's a cool looking northern alligator lizard. It's another patternless individual, which is seems to be fairly common at this uh, specific location. It's pretty interesting. It's a cool looking lizard though. So here we've got a neonate Pacific gopher snake. Um, this is Santa Cruz County right now and he's pretty cool looking. He's like pretty green, which is kind of interesting. Um, usually they're much more, uh, the blotches are much more brown in coloration, so I wonder if he'll keep this coloration as it ages. Really pretty. So, I was just gonna leave him there, but I'm really intrigued by this phenotype, this really green coloration, so I think I'm gonna try to get some better pictures of him, but I thought I'd give you a nicer look as well. Being a little flinchy, but uh, that's to be expected. Really, a pretty mild-mannered snake. Okay, there he goes. Seems to be doing pretty well for itself. Well, pretty glad I found that guy. Because, uh kind of a rough outing. Been out for a couple hours and that's the only snake I've seen. It's just been a um, bunch of fence lizards and that one alligator lizard. So it's been a kind of a slow month in general. September. I've seen two baby snakes now. <laughs> so not much of a start to baby season. But Hopefully it'll pick up soon. 
and then snake wise it'll drop off for a while in the coldest part of the year you can still find some every now and then but um, i'll definitely be focusing more on salamanders at that point and uh no sooner after saying that did i stumble upon just about the coolest snake you could find out here oh my god um you can see in a lot of herper videos when people find their targets they're shaking um that's kind of happening to me right now <laughs> that is so cool this is the california mountain king snake of course and it is gorgeous um this is a sub adult they're not a large species of king snake um oh my goodness look at that that is incredible it's bitten me a few times um, well worth it though. Um, <laughs> I feel a little bad picking it up, but it was going to get away from me. And I could not pass up this chance. It is so beautiful. So, these snakes are known to be a coral snake mimic. Um, which is interesting since the closest coral snakes live all the way in uh, southeast Arizona. Or they might range into southwest Arizona, I'm not completely sure. Um, but they live far, far away from these guys. So um, it's been thought that perhaps just the color combination of red, black, and yellow to white um, is enough to get birds and mammals to um, think twice about taking on a snake like this. Because they think it could be venomous. He's really trying to let me know he's not happy. Um, but, oh my goodness, what a beautiful snake. Just crossing the trail in front of me. How about that? And this is in September. Not the month I thought I'd find one in. <laughs> Incredible. Look at this beautiful snake. I'm going to take some pictures and then I will show you some video of him or her crawling away from me and back into the wild where these snakes should be. Isn't it beautiful though? Just look at that. You can uh, really understand the scientific name Lampropeltis in this instance. Uh, Lampropeltis in Latin roughly translates to shiny shield and these scales on this snake are just glis glistening in the sun. Fantastic. Okay, here's where I send the snake off. He was crossing the trail heading that way. So, there he goes. Kind of that way. 